held on there was his father fish. We are breaking through to new territory. We are achieving an understanding of the aquarium that no one has discussed or really understood with any depth heretofore. What we are discovering in our long and protracted conversation with each other, a conversation that goes on every day through our live streams and through our videos, is that our aquarium is a living organism. A living organism. It is a glass box that is filled with life from edge to edge, corner to corner, top to bottom, including every single square and cubic inch of everything that is in that aquarium. I've been thinking re recently of ways to illustrate this. And I've thought of two things that, that are fun. One is to ask the question, what is your aquarium's name? Does it have a name? Lots of people are fond of giving names to their pets. We all do it. We all name our pets. The aquarium, the life in the aquarium, every aspect of the life in the aquarium is in the same sense a pet, if you will. It is a living organism that we maintain in our home. What is its name? Now, that leads to another question, which is, is your aquarium your friend or your enemy? For some people, their aquarium is their enemy. They're constantly fighting with it, struggling with it, trying to control it trying to kill one thing or another, trying to pull out one thing or another, trying to get rid of something, trying to get something else going on. They're in a struggle with their aquarium. And it makes them slightly nuts because you really can't struggle with a living organism and expect to win. You're not going to win, you're going to lose. If you're in a battle with your aquarium, I'll put my money on the aquarium and not on you. And here's the reason. If you have a negative attitude toward your aquarium, you're constantly seeing things happening in it that need to be controlled, that need to be destroyed, that you need to get rid of, then you're essentially assaulting it over and over and over again. And eventually, you're either going to kill it or it's going to beat you into the ground, into submission. Let's hope for submission. Let's hope that what you do at the end of the day is to, is to throw your hands up and to say, I give up. Do whatever it is you're going to do. And then you sit back and you watch. It. And you begin by being, well, let's see you overcome that foul condition. And you sit there and you observe it. Today, tomorrow, the next day, by the day after that, it's starting to get better. Well, imagine such a thing. Get better? Hardly. 
yet it's true. By the day after that, it's still a little bit better. What is it doing? What is your aquarium doing? It's healing itself. It finally got your hands out of it. Your attempts to play God with it. Your foolish attempts to change this or change that. It's, it's had the opportunity now to take a deep breath. To check itself out and to begin healing itself. And it will. It will. It will do just that. Now, there may be a few losses along the way, particularly in the beginning, particularly if it's especially foul or messed up or injured in some very substantial way. You may lose a fish or two, a plant or two. But give it time. Give it time. Let it, let it heal itself. It will do so at its own rate, at its own speed, and it will become a healthy tank again. Now, there are some things you can do to help it along the way. If you watch the video, catastrophe that came out not long ago, you saw us remove a great deal of muck from the tank. Now, we didn't stir the tank up. We stirred up the water, but not the substrate. And we wiped the plants as gently as we could to get the slime off of them. And then we siphoned all that yucky water out and replaced it with new water. We did that two times. And now, after about a week, that tank has new fish in it, new plants. We did a video recently in which it is healing. It is becoming a healthy aquarium again. So, number one, your aquarium is a living environment. In point of fact, it is a living organism. An organism is a, a um, an organization of organisms. An organization of organs that all work together. There are many different things that work together, given the opportunity to work together. But they have to have that opportunity. And they will do so without very much help on your part. Mostly you need to give it the basics that it needs. Give it clean water. And by that I don't mean change the water every day. I mean once the water is clean and stable, then leave it alone. It will heal itself. It will heal the water. It will heal the substrate. It will even heal the fish. So, what is the name of your aquarium? Thomas has named his. What do you call him, Thomas? I've got a couple different ones. Uh, I've themed my turtle tank after Jurassic Park. I've got Terrapin Ave, which is the other turtle tank. And I have no names for the other two. So there we go. Okay. Terrapin Ave. So name your tank. Give it a name, and then call it by name. Treat it as a friend, not an enemy. Talk to it, share with it, be a part of it, watch it, observe it, and watch what it does. It is a miracle living in four glass walls. One, two, three, four, five, five glass walls. Four walls at a bottom, and whatever is on the top. It is a miracle living in a little glass box. Treat it as such. Appreciate it as such. And relate to it as such. You will find that it will respond to you. It will be your friend if you are its friend. 
So name, is it a male or a female? Decide for yourself. Could be either. You decide. And then treat it accordingly. If it's married, treat her as married. If it's Cass, treat her as Cass. If it's John, treat it, treat him as John. If it's Sam, treat him as Sam. Treat your tank as a living organism, as a friend, as a companion, as someone who lives in your home with you. And you will be amazed at how it will reward you with its beauty, with its joy, with its serenity, with its health, and its happiness. So there, chapter one on living with your aquarium. Bye for now, Father Fitch. Don't forget our morning streams. You can come to us and ask questions and participate and be all very much a part of our morning streams Monday through Friday at 9 Eastern Time, and then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, at 6 in the evening. More friendly, open times. Share your friend, your tank with us, and join us for fun, for fellowship, and for fishy conversation in the show. Bye for now. Father Fish.